In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the design site Canva to create a custom Google site header. So I've got some Google sites here that I have created and each of them have been created with a custom Google site header. So in this example, here is the header and I used Canva to add an image and add some text to add a title and add this uh, border. And rather than having this be site be called Sites How To, which is what I named the site, I can put any name in here when I'm using a custom header to, for the site. And here's another example. Um, by using a custom header, I was able to actually rotate this text, add this text bubble here, upload an image that I wanted, and add that to my header. I could never have gotten the gotten the text to rotate like this by just using the default header that comes with Google Sites. So by using Canva to create and design my header outside of Google Sites, then I'm able to position those that those elements wherever I want. So I've already gone ahead and signed into Canva. It's canva.com. And you can see you can actually use Canva to create lots of different things from presentations to posters and blog graphics and Pinterest and Twitter headers. They have all of these different templates that are already designed with dimensions that are appropriate for those types of things. But when I'm designing a Google site header, I use my own dimensions. So right here where it says use custom dimensions, we're going to go ahead and click on that. And because I've designed a lot of sites, I kind of like, there's a standard width and height that I usually like to work with when I'm working with Google Sites, um, and that is 960 is for the height, or for the width, excuse me, and then 250 for the height. Now you can play with these dimensions and make them whatever you want. I wouldn't probably go any bigger than 1200 for the width, and the height 250 is a pretty good height for that, um, but you can put in any dimensions that you want to design your header. These are just the dimensions I like to work with. So I'm going to go ahead and click Design. Canva then creates a canvas, a blank canvas, with those dimensions. And then I can add things on top of that to create my site header. So I'm going to first go ahead and take a look at the backgrounds. And Canva has uh, millions of images that are already built in. And Canva is free to use, although they do have backgrounds and images that are available for a dollar a piece. I've never used any of those when I'm designing something. So you can see here there's all sorts of different images that you can use. And when you get down, um, and they don't have free on them, that means they cost a dollar, which isn't a lot. Uh, you can also just use a plain solid color, or you can pick any color that you want if there isn't a color there that you like. I'm going to go ahead and use this green that kind of matches the theme that we're working with, and you can see once I click on that, it actually goes ahead and adds that to my background. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some text. So I'm going to click on the text option, and Canva has all of these pre-built um, text objects that you can use and then you can add them and you can change it and put your own text in there if you want to start that way. If you don't want it, you can just delete it once you've added it. Um, so there's all sorts of these free ones that you can use, which are kind of cool. But for this one, I'm going to go ahead and just add my own. So I'm going to just use this plain text box here. And let's say I'm a fourth grade teacher and I'm making a fourth grade site. So we're going to call this fourth grade fun. And as you type, it adds that in there. I can use the sizing handles to go ahead and make that box a little bit bigger so that it fits in there. And I can actually move that box and position it wherever I want to on my background. I can change the font, and I'm going to look for a little bit um, more like a, of a kid-like font here, a little thicker font for this. Um, this looks like a good one. And I'm going to change the size. And I'm going to go ahead and make that bigger. And I think I'm also going to change the color. I think white will look good on that. So I've got my text ready to go. The next thing I'm going to add is a picture. Now I can actually go to Uploads and I can upload any piece of clip art or photo that I want to add to my image. But Canva also has hundreds of images that you can choose from. So right up here in the search box, I'm just going to click that to activate the different categories that Canva has. And I know that there is a duck in the icon section. So I'm going to go to icons and here's the little duck. We have kind of a duck theme going on this year in fourth grade. So I'm going to go ahead and add that and I'm going to move that. I can also resize it if I wanted to. And you'll notice that I can even change the color. So if this orange color wasn't what I was working with for my theme, I could actually go ahead and change that to any color that I wanted to. In addition, uh, we'll go ahead and close out of the icons, um, Canva has a whole bunch of different line styles that you can use, and we'll go ahead and add, um, there's one of flowers, so we'll go ahead and add that to our design. 
and we'll position that where we want to. And again, we can change the colors if we want, if it doesn't match with our design. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that. That looks pretty good. So before we go further, we want to go ahead and save this, obviously, or name it. Canva automatically saves everything. So we can just come up here and we'll call this website banner. And Canva is automatically saving it, so you can tell that it's saved when it says saved and there's a check mark up there. So this is what our banner is going to look like. So to um, save it, what we're actually going to do is go to link and publish. And Canva gives you two options for saving things. You can either save it as a PDF, which would be perfect if we wanted to print it, but we actually want to use this as a banner in our website, so we're going to save it as an image. So we'll go ahead and select the image option. It will take a second and prepare the image for printing, if you or for saving, if you did uh, use one of the um, paid for features that you would be um, asked to be paid for that, but we used everything for free, so we're going to go ahead and um, we'll give it a name. and we'll pick a place to save it on our computer, we'll go ahead and save. And it'll take just a minute and save that. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to um, add this to your header in Google Sites.